Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Diesel's Farms, episode number four. We had a lot happen in this in this week. We put a lot of hours in, and we switched up our uh, our thought processes. I honestly completely forgot about soybeans and how profitable they can be. So we started planting soybeans. And we got, we still have the canola on the big field. So we got a, a, an incredibly large field. We were able to buy a couple more tractors after we paid off our loan um, for the combine and plant in a couple more of these bad boys. So we got a few of these. These are making uh, a, a rather decent amount um, per month. I think it was like two or three grand, give or take, somewhere around there every month. We put in a cheap silo. I know last time I said I didn't really want to do that, but we did. Uh, so we got that. And then we bought a large tractor because we were having some trouble with some of the larger equipment we were able to buy. Um, so we did take out another loan to get one of these, which, again, paid off. Uh, that was kind of my goal before I started to really get going um, with everything else. We bought this this shed just to try and organize everything. My stuff was getting pretty dirty, running low on fuel, so we put in these. Um, we bought a larger cedar, a larger roller, a larger weeder. This stone picker, which is a mod, we got the trucks. And then we bought this used when we took out the loans for the large tractor. We had some left over, so I bought this used. It's got like, yeah, almost 30 hours on it now. Um, but yeah, so we switched the wheat over because we have a lot of wheat in storage. Yeah, we have 23,000 wheat in storage. So I've essentially made this tractor my chicken tractor. And we have sold a lot of a lot of eggs. And when I tell you this thing half full for twenty thousand, twenty three thousand dollars has been life changing. Um, so my next goal is to increase the size of this. Hopefully by the end of this episode we can get there. Um, and start producing more and more eggs. I, I definitely want to move it. Wrong button. I want to, or actually, I, I want to move it back over here and kind of make this area not only my tractor storage and ma maintenance and my tool storage and maintenance, but like make this kind of um an animal, an animal pen area. So like cows, chickens, sheep, um, pigs bees if we really want uh this is this is where our land ends so we can put in another uh like another small field we so we have the canola here in this incredibly large field we planted just a small grass field um just because i had a lot of space and then i want to show you guys this so we built a little, a little house, and this is kind of what the neighborhoods are going to look like, right? So, like, we can change the name of this to, like, one Suffield place. I don't know why that was the thing that came into my head, but, yeah, you know, we got, we got that in there. And, like, these are dirt cheap, so these are, like, $500. The, I think the cars cost more <laughs> than that. But, we, you know, we got a little a little area. We put a fence around with a gate um, to kind of keep everything. And then we put some uh, we put some, some signages in. We, we got some parking spaces in, in over here uh, just to make it look a little bit more realistic. We cut some trees down. I One thing I did not realize... I don't really have anything to carry all of this. So uh, I was using my tractors to just kind of push them. 
it's a very slow process, but one I think my the green how do you pronounce it? Deutz far. Deutz, I think. D U E T Z. That was that pushed a whole tree. So uh I think this is like the edge of my land, maybe. Did I buy this area? I don't even know why it's allowing me to cut the trees down. Maybe that's just because of the landscaping anywhere mod. I don't know. Um, but it was allowing it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna harvest finish harvesting this canola while they're going. Um and then we'll come back. We'll we'll probably store it until like a couple months out and then sell it. Uh oops. Because like we were talking about a couple episodes ago, you cannot really um, get a ton of money if you just sell it immediately after um, harvesting. There's a, a point where it reaches its peak. I think it's like September or October, if I'm remembering correctly. I've been trying to pay attention to the, uh, the things a little bit better. I still don't understand why this harvester is not catching the edges here. I'm going to turn the game down a little bit because it's loud. Uh, that, that, one's, that one's driving me kind of nuts that it's doing that. Um, I have been just harvesting myself, but I wanted to kind of do the intro while, you know, whist whistle while we were. Kill two birds with one stone, right? Um, so, yeah, so I'll, I'll, I'll finish up harvesting. And then we'll uh, we'll probably come back. Hopefully it'll be like September. We'll come back. We'll have this field planted again, and then um, see how much money we can get from this canola canola yield. And hopefully you know all these wind turbines are getting a little bit more money um, on a monthly basis. I want to get the bigger chicken pen, and I need a bigger cultivator. That is the big thing. My right bumper is broken on my, on my controller, so it's not always registering that I'm pushing it. But all right, so we'll we'll get all that done and we'll come back. But I just I wanted this is more of an update just of what what we got going on. Um, and if you notice, I sold a lot of equipment and then I sold the other larger chicken pen that was over there. So I got I got quite a decent amount of money from that. Um, and then sold like the windrower, the tether, everything, everything but the, the lawnmower I sewed just because the lawnmower is helping me, uh, create fields that are actually producing field stone and stuff. Um, because, so I just painted on the grass field and it doesn't, it doesn't get in I, this, that one I didn't really care about, but it doesn't produce field stones or anything like that. So it's kind of frustrating. Um, and kind of unrealistic in that sense. So we'll get back to this. We'll get back to work and then uh, we'll come back with a little update. All right. All righty. Canola is all harvested. We're going to see. So this is my last um, batch that we got to bring in. We brought a full trailer over last time, which I think think is about 16,000 uh, if I'm not mistaken so we'll see we're, we're gonna get this in we had zero canola in here uh, at the start of this if I believe so we should be able to see exactly how much we got I think it's probably somewhere around 24,000 on the money <laughs> so should be when we go to sell it we want to sell it around I think the 1200 ish or 1100 ish mark um, so we'll, we'll keep an eye on the canola and then once we see that 1200 we'll come back to try to load up the trailer and, and roll but we got the wheat going and the cultivator going right now we'll get soybeans and uh, what did I plant here? Oat. Soybeans and oat. I'm surprised the oat isn't ready to rock and roll. Isn't that normally? 
Yeah, that's normally in July too. Okay. Weird, but all right, we'll be back once uh once we can sell this canola. All right, so we got we got the canola all sold, and I just happened to check, and the soybeans are at fourteen hundred, which is the highest that I've seen at the sales station. So while the AIs are doing that stuff, we're gonna go sell some soybeans.
So we did uh we did have about thirty thousand. <clears throat> and I put in a couple more of the wind turbines there. Um just to hopefully I wanna I wanna like get it says nine hundred a month. I had I think it was eight of them and I was only getting like four grand. So I don't necessarily know how true that is, but now we have ten. So if it's nine hundred and eighty a month, it should realistically be just under like nine thousand eight hundred and forty dollars. But I'm wondering if it's dependent upon if there's wind or anything like that. So I'm not I'm not fully sure there. But we'll have to see. So fourteen hundred, we should get about one and a half times. So what's that? Sixteen, maybe twenty. We'll go. My guess is going to be twenty-two thousand. I think twenty-two thousand for the soybeans here. We got sixteen three eighty-six. So the moment of truth. Up, 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 up. 23,000. I mean, I was close. I'm, I'm getting pretty good at this guessing. So, yeah, what we have is we got, we harvested our soybeans over here. We got the canola, the wheat, and we're getting the oat in right now. Let's just let these guys do that while I drive this back because, you know, two birds, one stone, right? Um, So we're turning a pretty good profit margin now. I bought a mulcher in, in the meantime because I want to I wanna test. We were getting about 75% of a yield. Um, and I want to see what the percentage is if the field is mulched. Um, so the soybeans is the only field that's been mulched. Everything else has been done to it that we've been continuing to do. The lime, the stones, the weeding, the rolling. Um, so um, everything else will get done when we plant the soybeans next month. Um, and then over cha, I so see you can see yield bonus is plus 75%, 50% fertilized. So I want to see what it is going to be for this when we, while we're, since we're mulching. I think that'll give us a little bit more yield. I think it may be like say five or 10%. We'll have to check that once we get them in the ground. Um, and figure it out. I mean, realistically, once we're done rolling, we can just fast forward to the next month. Oop, I passed soybeans. Oop, I did it again. Oh, canola soybeans. Yeah, so next month is when we got to do all this. So we'll just let him be set up over there. So yeah, so we've gotten a lot done. Here's the mulcher we got. It's $25,000, six meters working range. So we ran it through the soybean field. And we're gonna see see what that happens. You can mulch mulch any crop you want, um, pretty much. And we'll be able to see what our yield bonus will be, even an extra couple hundred dollars every every harvest, or a couple hundred liters every harvest will will be substantial. So that that adds up pretty quickly. Get the AI to rock and roll. I see. So this is 75%, right? I want to see the soybeans be a little bit better. If we can see that, then mulching will have been worth it. But I still, I still d do not know. I 
I've never really fully paid attention to all that. I just did what the game told me to. Which is like kind of the downfall, right? Like I knew that rolling it and everything would increase the yield bonus, but I never paid attention to how much, right? Like if I don't roll it and I don't do anything, I just plant it and, and let it grow. What is the yield zero? I never, like I, like I said, I never paid attention to that until now because like I'm actually trying to get all I can get out of each of these fields. I don't have enough equipment to go for another field, really. And then, like, my harvester is just, it's not big enough. This this little guy is tiny compared to the size, at least that canola field. Like, I have to, I have to empty it two times every harvest. And then the third time. We're slowly getting some some eggs in here. We got 3,613. So hopefully, hopefully these will fill that up. But I think once we get to the next point in time, we're going to... purchase the chicken the larger chicken coop all right so we're into the next month here so yeah we're still only getting 3500 there's 10 of these i get am i missing something Nine hundred and eighty four a month. Or is it because I was already like earning some of the money? I don't know. The moment of truth here. So it's probably at 75 right now because it needs rolling, right? Rolling should increase its yield. Let's just, I'm just going to test my theories here. All right, so it looks like it's probably 2%. I would, wait, where? 75, 70. 75, 75. One or 2% maybe? One of them 68, what? What? All right, let's get them out of the way. One or two percent, probably. Which still, that's that's still better than nothing. So what else increases yield? Where's the help menu? Oh, that's icon overview. Okay, stand by.
So I am liming. I'm fertilizing 50%. I'm removing weeds. I'm picking the stones. I'm rolling. I'm mulching. Does it say the... I'm going to say I'm not fully sure. It's got to be... It's got to be something else, right? I got to be missing something. But... I'm going to end this episode there. I'm a little I'm a little disappointed that... Like these guys... I mean, three grand every month is still good, but... There's ten of them. I feel like I should be getting nine grand every month. But that's besides the point. Um... We are going to end it here. I'll finish finish up with these soybeans. And hopefully at the start of next episode, while I'm doing some work, we'll be able to put a new chicken coop in and uh get that get that rocking and rolling. And then after that chicken coop goes in, I'll build an actual house for myself here. Instead of a bus stop. That'll be nice to have my an actual house on my farm. An actual farmhouse. I need you to make more money. I need you to make more money. But alright. Hey guys, I, I appreciate you hanging out. I appreciate you watching this video. Uh if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, you know, drop a comment. Uh, on this on this video and you know and let me know uh, you know we're not looking for any toxicity or anything like that but if you have a question on anything that I've done any tips or tricks let me know in the comments and I'll, I'll try to answer them the best that I can um, for now we'll continue continue with these these four crops and in this kind of pattern and Try and get that upgraded chicken coop. Um, if you aren't, I would appreciate this so much. If you could subscribe to the channel, we are trying to get to that thousand mark so that we can try and 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 start monetizing uh, some videos. Uh, that's 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 kind of our goal for 2023. Um, and if you if you're enjoying the content, like the video share it with a friend, whatever you, whatever you need to do. Um, I'd be more than happy to try and try and help people out if they enjoy the game, but just don't really know what they're doing. Um, cause it, 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 it can be overwhelming for, for new players. This game can be a little overwhelming. So like I said, share it, drop a like, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell. So you get notified when episode five gets posted and I will catch you guys later. All right. Be kind to somebody today.